I beg you, you get one discussion why I hear on top Arise TV. I say make a car and call show now. Make you for discuss on top of this matter because me I don't understand. <laughs> you get as the matter be. What this guy they will be in this country? Because I don't I don't get it. Back and forth, back I know just mwa make I not talk too much. Make you help me watch which then talk on top Arise TV. We consign president and the minister of uh, finance Wali Edu. I'm gonna watch this video. So Nigeria and this this headline in uh, this day newspaper, Nigeria's newspaper record. I am absolutely shocked uh, that the president is just now telling the minister of finance that he should go and do a cost implication for minimum wage. Um, I, 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 look, Dr. Biodo Adidipe, as far as I'm concerned, has had the best minimum wage discussion on the morning show that you had a couple days ago, where he broke down those particular numbers. Are you saying that for the past one year that we've been talking about minimum wage, that you don't have any cost implications, you didn't reach out to the private sector? It, it really is a trouble. And why do you need the president to tell you to go and do a cost implication? I mean, you could have come up with these numbers, you know, on, on your own. So, so look, again, like you saw that clip we played yesterday about when you want to get somebody's attention, don't tap them on the shoulder. You have to use a sledgehammer. Uh, labor, anyway, you know, I just, I'm really, really uh, taken aback. But by the way, speaking of the Ministry of, of, of Finance, there's that um, ASAP uh, plan that the ministry has put forward, right? A 65-page document. I haven't gone through the entire thing, but uh, the excellent work from our uh, uh, colleagues over at This Day newspaper, I encourage everybody to read that article. Um, like we did a quick summary. Uh, it's not just about what the plan is asking for, uh, what is putting forward for the president, uh, put by the ministry. It is also the issues. And if you look there, again, following um, um, Minister of Finance Edu's TV interview, where he admitted that fuel subsidies are still an ongoing issue. In that uh, ASA plan that he puts forward, it highlights the fact that fuel subsidies in 2024 are still going to cost 5.4 trillion naira, right? Even with the subsidy removal. So it tells you the degree to which subsidies have been costing Nigeria money. It also highlights empower. 1.5 trillion naira to Gasco and the Gen Genkos, right? And then also now um, um, putting prescribing a 1 trillion naira stabilization fund for manufacturing. So you're going to spend 5.4 trillion naira on subsidies, and you are now you are also putting forward um, 1.5 trillion. As I said, remove the entire thing. You can then have enough money to be able to address all the other um, fiscal issues that you want to address. They also, in that ASAP report, pointed out that there is a revenue shortage. The, the, uh, the uh, revenues in Nigeria for January and February have underperformed because of oil production, because of underperformance with oil production. So there's a lot of holes here that have to be uh, filled. And by the way, since we're talking minimum wage, if you do control F on the document and search for minimum wage, there's, there's, okay. there's nothing there. So I would have thought again that that cost implications for minimum wage would have been there. So, all right. You don't see him. Wait, too. This government is serious about implementing minimum wage. We may have call living wage. And they don't, they've not done their cost effect. Eh? The cost effect of implementing that minimum wage, no matter the amount where you be, they were proposing 60,000 naira. So there is no call. All this why? Okay, the Minister of Finance needed to be told to look at the cost effect of a new minimum wage. That's any day why? Because for what you want to watch there, they say, Tinobu, tell the minister, say, make he prepare the cost uh, effect. I'll be waiting to wait. Uh, the cost effect now. If they implement this new minimum wage, what will be the cost effect on the nation or on their budget or on whatever it is? They'll never do a more. Uh, but they are hoping to implement a new uh, living wage where all of them are not as minimum wage. <laughs> That's to tell you that these people, they don't have any plan of even giving a living wage. They don't. How can you have a plan to give Nigeria a new minimum wage? You don't even know the cost effect of your new minimum wage on the economy or on your budget or on whatever you are going to be considering to give that minimum wage. Now, now you they give directive. Okay, that one by the side. 
on a year they highlight and uh, when they talk for the state minister of uh, finance say he gives some highlights about some costing inside the 2024 the number one where they they say four subsidy will cost 5.4 trillion naira in 2024 i beg you now will watch that video because i'm lost i don't understand anything for there maybe my own schooling no reach to understand this particular thing why i hear now so you now will watch we follow watch that video i beg help me explain what is that 5.4 trillion naira for for a subsidy in 2024 no is it that they are still paying subsidy for a subsidy i want to understand or that they 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 they, they are paying half of the first subsidy and they only removed half because what is that 5.4 trillion naira a minister of finance is saying is highlight of fuel subsidy cost for 2024 <laughs> please if you are not understand if you understand help tell me in the comment section okay so all this way that we have been saying that these people are still paying for subsidy so it's true I be a mind one that is not understanding what they said there, or I don't understand the meaning of highlight. Highlight. Five point four three. I beg if you understand, help educate us in the comment section so that we go understand what they talk for that video. Five point four trillion. So if we are still paying for subsidy, why are people suffering now? Why is fuel costly? Why? <laughs> so that's what they talk about uh, okay, if you understand just tell us in the comment section so that we will follow you understand that but you see there is no clarity in this government a government that is bent on working for its people it was again with some level of clarity so that people will understand what they are doing but it seems the policies of this government is shrouded in secrecy and in english i speak is shrouded in secrecy because no, I don't understand what's happening. Eh? First of all, you want to give a new minimum wage, you don't have a cost effect of that minimum wage on the economy, you don't have it. Secondly, we are now hearing that 5.4 trillion highlight for fuel subsidy in 2024. How? I said, if you understand, like I said, tell us in the comment section. I come in peace. <laughs>